Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how Microsoft Loop integrates with Whiteboard. First, we'll show you how to add a Loop component to a Whiteboard. Then we'll create a Project Hub using the Kanban framework. And finally, we'll add our Project Hub to a Teams channel. To add a loop component to a whiteboard, start by clicking the copy icon in the top right of your component. Then hit the copy button to ensure the link has been copied correctly. Now head over to whiteboard, and press Ctrl or Command and V on the keyboard to paste the link. Alternatively, click the plus icon on the left. Then select links from the list of options. Now paste your link into the URL bar, and hit the insert button. Now we know how to add loop components to a whiteboard, let's look at how we can manage a project from this location. In this example, we're going to create a Kanban framework to help us visualize the workflow of our project. To use a template, click the plus icon on the left, then select templates from the list of options. Now type Kanban into the search bar, and click the Kanban template. Next, click anywhere on the board to drop the template into the workspace. To create your own Kanban framework, click on Shapes. Select Rectangle from the list of shapes. Now click and drag on the board to create a vertical column. Then press Ctrl and C on the keyboard to copy the shape, and Ctrl and V to paste it. Now move the pasted rectangle in line with the first. Click outside the rectangle and paste again to create a third column. Then move the third column alongside the second to create a row of three columns. Now we need to create headers for each column. To do that, paste again. Then click and drag the border at the top or bottom to reduce the shape's height. When you're happy with the size, move the header into place above the first column. And then copy the header and paste two more for the other columns. Now click into the first header, and type not started. Type in progress into the second header. And type completed into the third. To add colors, click the header, then press shift on the keyboard and click the column below to select both. Now click the color picker, and choose a color. Then repeat the process for the other columns. Once the framework is finished, you'll need to add your loop components. So head to loop and copy the project components. If you want to copy the whole page, click the copy icon at the top of the window. Now head back to whiteboard and paste in your component. Resize it, and then move it to the appropriate column. Once you've pasted in all your components, you can move them across as the work progresses. This is not only a great way to visualize your workflow, but it also means you can interact with all aspects of your project from one location. You can also add reactions to the component, or draw over it using the pen. Reactions and pen marks will stick to the component as you move it around. However, if your component has scroll bars, the elements won't stay aligned to your content as you scroll. To avoid that, make sure the component is maximized before adding drawings or reactions. Now let's add our project hub to a Teams channel. Start by copying the link to your whiteboard. Then head over to a Teams channel and click the plus icon at the top. Click on website, or type website into the search bar and select website from the results. Now give your website tab a name. Paste the whiteboard link into the URL bar. And finally, hit save. Perfect! Your team can now view and manage the workflow for the whole project. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.